Today's video, Dance Mom. When I watched this show, you know what I thought? Go ahead. How is this legal? <laughs> how is this legal? Uh, yeah. And how is this legally broadcasted more than anything? Um, Dance Mom is a show that appeared on TV. I believe it was on TLC. It's basically we're following a dance studio that does classical dance and their dance moms with their kids. And that's pretty much what it is. I wanna, I wanna kind of showcase you, to you guys. Like, a, a, I'm gonna play the video. I want you guys to understand, like, the kind of relationship that students have with their dance teacher and that parents have with the dance teacher. It's very, Different. very bizarre. Come on, this is it. Ready? On, so, down, 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 up. I did not sign up to kiss Gino, and it's a little awkward for me because he likes me. Oh! Jesus Christ. Every time I watch that clip, every time I watch that clip. Mm. There you go. That's what you did. She just wiped her lips off. She did. Aww. Maddie and Abby both had their first kiss the same day. That's kind of sweet, twins. Yeah, I'm disgusted. This is illegal. Yeah, I'm disgusted. This child said, no, I don't want to. And this adult that was not her guardian or her parent did that to her. Now, obviously, because it's a woman, as a society, we tolerate this kind of behavior. Are you mashing women again? Whatever. <laughs> Imagine the message you're sending to young women about the kind of boundaries that they should set for themselves. Imagine about the message you're sending young women about how they should value their body and their autonomy. Look, my first kiss wasn't special. A lot of my friends' first kiss wasn't special. But for some people, it's something that they want to say. Something that they want for a specific person. For you to come in and to take that from someone because you want your dance routine to work well? Where is the consent in this? Oh, nowhere. The answer is nowhere. There was no, no, no. How is this on YouTube? Bro. Bro, if I watched that Netflix movie that everyone freaked out about, this is more disturbing than that. Yeah, because the movie that you watched was a movie. This is... This happens. Is this cute to you guys? Do you guys find this like upset, acceptable? There's a lot of that know, people put their lips like. If that's my daughter, B, we go on a court or we fight. Oh, if you did that in front of my kid, you getting you getting fists. We fight, man or woman. We fight. You put your lips on her mouth, we and those other mothers. Oh, that's a different topic. That, that's that's something. Else. And we gonna get to that. They after. enable that. We but I remember watching this scene and I felt like it, it kind of encapsulated mm. how we ingratiate kids in dance, how we teach them how to dance, what we teach them what to accept. It's just a microcosm, but a very negative um, example of how we socialize young people to not learn about consent, to not learn about boundaries, to not learn about what abuse looks like yes mm, that's that's the oof. yes yes it, it, it is it is quite a frightening scene to be honest with you and you look at the likes and the comments and people are joking around and, and i'm like this is disturbing mm -hmm. you know and then you, people grow up older and they don't know how to communicate their boundaries and when it comes from their childhood Mm -hmm. You violated those boundaries, oh, damn, you can and just... every uh, every adult in the room laughed. You could just Do take not my see... name right now because you're just preaching right now. Go ahead. For me, it, it was very difficult to watch, but it, it just represented what I'd seen always in dance. So I felt the need to kind of keep calm, just because I'm like, "Yo, Abba, you've seen this. You've seen it in different forms, but you've seen this. I've seen this exactly. I've seen dance teachers put their hands on people when they shouldn't." I think that's probably why when that Netflix stuff happened and everything popped off, I'm like, bruv, y'all need to look in your backyards. Y'all had 13 seasons on TLC, ended only last year. And I can assure you, 
anything you would have seen in that movie is not even half as bad as what you'll see on those episodes in terms of outfits, in terms of choreography, in terms of how suggestive it was, in terms of how in danger they put these kids in, in terms of how they violate their boundaries. There's an episode where they force a young girl to go on a date with a boy that she does not want to go with. I was thinking she's like 13 or 14 because she wants the teacher wants the dance routine to have great dance chemistry. The number is called Snapshot, and I think we need to bring a boy in to be the photographer. What do you think? Brooke. <laughs> Brooke and Brandon are acting really weird during the group number, doing their partnering. Brandon, when I say the word, I want chemistry between you. What, is, what does that mean? I mean, you have to have like emotion between each other and just the passion that you like feel something. Right, like this girl makes your heart stop. Yes, what does it mean to you? Same thing. <laughs> now do the arch back and look back at him and slide slowly down. Ooh, lovely. I think some of the moves in Snapshot were a little risque. Watching Brooke and Brandon in rehearsal is like waiting for pace to get sticky. Shane out, there's nothing happening, nothing. You and Brandon are carrying this number. So I need chemistry, I need something. And if you two wouldn't mind, I'm gonna send them on a date. What do you think about Abby sending us here? She's weird. You can understand where she's coming from though, right? No. With the dance, I've been trying to connect with Brooke the whole week, but she's been pretty cold towards me. <laughs> In what world is forcing a teenager, a child, to go on romantic dates something acceptable on television it's crazy how they're gonna put advertisement on that advertise but, yep. but they're gonna put advertisement on that prime time prime time prime time shows advertisement on that but whenever we do comedy skits comedy jokes comedy right the people that are going to review my comedy if it goes on TV is not another comedian or a comedian in chief. It's going to be a lawyer. But yeah. nobody, no, no one, crickets. All right, cool. It's pretty disturbing. I've seen exactly that happen. Parenting. There's a certain level of like narcissism that's really prevalent in in these parents. Um, you can tell that. A lot of dance parents live vicariously through their kids. And whatever failed dreams and aspirations they had, they impose on their children and expect their children to achieve. Even if their kids would want or don't want to be in dance, those parents are pushing those kids. And that's why they tolerate watching a stranger or someone who's not part of their family kiss their child. When I see this, I see extreme forms of narcissism. And, and these are the people who are mentoring these young kids. Mm. These dance teachers don't care because they just want to win. And so they'll engage in all kinds of behavior. But the parents are just as bad as sometimes they want to win even more yep. than the teacher itself. Yep. You understand what I'm saying? Yep. So yes, the, the teacher engages in that. They don't say a thing because they also are in that same mindset. Yes. Yep. It's like, you remember when you said to yourself, you know, you were watching... Uh, Neverland or whatever, whatever, and you're like, how can a parent just give your child like it happens every day, mm -hmm. every day? I'm not saying that every dance school is like that, but it happens a lot. Yep, a lot. Yep. Hopefully, I know a lot of dance schools that do not proceed in these kind of behaviors, but I know a lot, a whole lot more, unfortunately, that do. Yep. Because of what competition? Because you want that prize. Because you want that fame. At the end, you want that money, that mm, that oomph. You, and the parents are even worse than the teachers. Sometimes. You want to be disturbed? Go look up some dance competitions online right now. And watch what they're wearing. Watch the poses that they get into and the suggestive nature of a lot of their dance moves. And it happens at very young ages. Very young ages. You might not have all the zoom-ins, but it's still just as awkward. And it goes on for just as long. Hmm? Look at these outfits. Look at them. And tell me, how is this in any way acceptable? Lace. That's what it is. Lace. How a kid is going to have lace on your outfit. We have 10-year-olds have, we have I mean, we... dre dressing like grown women. And here's mm -hmm. the thing. Leopard prints and lace. That... 
Bruh. That's whole la- laundry. Like, that, that's... That. Bruh, there's, one, there's, there's a couple of outfits where they're just literally in booty shorts and a I bra. I know. That's what I'm talking about. That's <laughs> you know I mean? lingerie. Like, but anyways, that's just... Doing burlesque. But we're, we're gonna... Yeah. Burlesque at that age? There, there's some dances. There's some dances that I would not going to teach a certain people. Do you even know what burlesque is? Do you know what I mean? Like, do they understand when you're making them do this? Like, And some of these kids, they start dancing because they see someone dance and they want to dance and start really has fun. Mm -hmm. It really starts as being fun. And then the parents get in. Once the parents are there and they put that pressure on the kids to be good, to be, whether it's dance, whether it's hockey, whether it's soccer, whether it's football, Mm. sometimes watching these parents talk mm-hmm. to their kids right. about other kids is the first thing first is just talking to your kids a certain way that's a messed up that's me, i've seen messed up things happen and messed up way of talking to a kid that nobody should be talked like that and that's come from that comes from a haitian dude that's been raised by a haitian parents th- that my parents called me a whole bunch of names but they never called me a lot of things that they these kids were called then, then the character deformation that you're talking about another kid. You talk, look, 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 look at this little whore. Look at this little whore. Like talking to them like they're... <laughs> well, you shouldn't even say that to grown humans. <laughs> I have to judge. And sometimes, you know, when you, when you judge hip-hop, they have to censor music because they can't dance on certain words, right? But even if you don't dance on certain words, I remember there was a group of teens, hmm. a group of teens, like early, young, young kids, and they were dancing on hip-hop and they were dancing on Lil Jon. All the bad words were, all the bad words were censored, but even when you censor bad words, it's still bad. To the window, to the wall, to the sweat go down my balls. Now, listen, I didn't say one bad word, but did the sweat go down my balls and I have kids dancing on that? To all of them, his fist crawled. I didn't say this. I, I, I removed the word. To all skeets, 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 skeets to you, to the people that don't know, it's not a bad word. But to the people that know what skeet skeet is, it's not the sound that you make when you go down a hill skiing. Skeet, 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 skeet. Look, mom, I'm skeeting. <laughs> when you thought that one, you were like, "This <laughs> fire, yo!" I could tell when he thought this. He's like, "I'm gonna nail this." I, 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 I could tell this skeet, skeet, <laughs> skeet, skeet. Woo! <laughs> it's going out that hill, mom. Skeet. Did you meet? Did you see, mom? I skeet all over them. <laughs> Can you imagine just like redefining cross country skeeting? Just going across the country, just skeeting everywhere? <laughs> I think at this point, I'm not even going to explain what skeet is. I'm going to let y'all read the comments. But you have kids dancing on that, okay? It's not a random word. You learn character defamation at a young age. Yep. And if you do dance very early, you you learn it very. The position of a dance, you know, a dance routine, mm. it's kind of a pyramid, all right. It's kind of like this, mm. and the more the most precious position is the one in the middle, in on top of the pyramid, right? And all the sides, and in the back is like the, the bottom of the pyramid, right? I've seen I've seen parents fight. I ain't talking about words, physically. Because their child was not on the first spot. And now it starts with character defamation. These kids don't even have a problem with each other. Hey, listen. I see crazy parents at baseball games. The difference is, at least those kids are fully clothed. (laughs) At least those kids are not subjected to the same thing that dancers are. It's a different ball game. It's different. It's a different ball game. And it's very disturbing what's going on. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's a larger discussion to be had about the example that society is setting for women in general. The expectations of beauty that men and women are encouraging on women. These young girls are not dressing like this because they're rebellious or this and that and blah, blah, blah. No, it's because they log on Instagram, they see what's popping, and they try to emulate what's grown. Because everyone who's young wants to grow up faster than they can. Everyone says, let kids be kids. Kids don't even want to be kids. Kids trying to grow up. 
Am I lying? Mm-hmm. And so there's an even larger problem about the messaging and the kind of role models that we're providing for young children. And I'm not just talking about ladies. This is not a knock on ladies and how they choose. I'm talking about men as well and what they choose to value. There has to be a discussion on how our societal values and our sense of individualism and like my choice is my choice. All right, well, listen, that trickles down, right? Because because young kids are watching. Your, your choice is your choice. Yeah, young kids are watching and they're emulating. They're emulating. So understand what that means and understand that how you care yourself and how you choose to act every day, all right? That has an impact on younger people. So there's a, a very difficult and nuanced discussion to have about that as well. I don't, I'm not one of those people who think, well, if you get rid of dance, these kids are going to stop dress. No, I know they won't stop. I know because I know they're connected to the internet and I know what they're looking at. And we're not saying to get rid of dance. That's not the problem. No. Dances is a, dancing is a, it's great. It's a wonderful thing. You have to watch how you do it and what you instill in, in people's mind, how you do it and what you convey. What is the message that you put out there when you do the things that you do in that wonderful art that is dance. It's a wonderful thing. Yep. It's a great thing. I was able to do a lot of things with dance. I'm not even on it. That's not that's not the point. That's if that's not. what you understood, yep. then you're wrong. You understood wrong. That's not. You have to understand what you try to convey to people. Yep. How the, the value, right? Yep. Do you value value or whatever it is? You have to see what you bring to the people. There are studios that do this ethically. There are organizations that are yes, actually absolutely. fighting for the protection mm -hmm. of children within dance because they recognize that it's a growing problem that we're seeing all over this country. So. Be aware, know that it's all around you, know that it's happening constantly. All of us know kids who are signed up for dance classes, who are doing things within schools and part of troops. Pay attention, notice what's going on, have those discussions. Because I'm telling you, if you think that was a form of exploitation, this is a, so, an area where there's zero consent, where the influence is not in the child's best interest whatsoever, and where the child's needs come second at most times if you're okay with that if you turn a blind eye to that to me it seems slightly hypocritical anyways that's it for today's video we want to hear your thoughts leave it in the comments below